So this video we're going to cover uh, the templates and reports, basically what you got when you bought the plugin. Okay, uh, we're going to dive into a little bit of the specifics on the use of it and uh, things that you're going to learn in the next few videos. Uh, but right now it's more of an overview. Uh, it's important you watch it so you understand where things are and how to use them. Uh, so let's um, let's just dive right in. Okay, so when you we got the plug-in, uh, you got a series of templates. You should have all these templates here. They may be a different color than what you have, uh, but you should have all these templates. And these templates are your takeoff properties okay so if you're um, um, you don't you didn't get the concrete and masonry I'm gonna hide that but it let's say you're doing some drainage okay we have takeoff properties for the drainage and each one of these um, is actually tied to a database okay and those are the databases that we installed on the last time Okay, we won't get into the specifics again because uh, it's more of an overview. But uh, while we're here looking at overview, these items here you see up here on the top, those are called takeoff properties. You have your count, your segment, your linear, and your area. So in the structure of PlanSwift, you want to make sure that you know that. Okay, so these three dots here are the takeoff properties okay this this blue line those are linear takeoff properties and that's actually what you use to count with or measure the in the plan uh, we'll kind of get into that in later videos then underneath these know that these blue red and green boxes are called assemblies and I like to design using assemblies where I keep all the materials together and all the labor together. I could keep all the equipment together. Um, this way, if you start doing cost coding, and these are set up to do cost coding, you can have a drainage uh, cost code for materials and a drainage cost code for uh, labor. Uh, it will break it out that way, okay? And then inside of it, we have parts, okay? We have labor parts, which is the guy with the wrench, and we have material parts kind of looks like an Amazon box you get delivered to your property that's a material part okay and I like to keep materials with materials and uh, again labor with labor you're gonna also see that there's a structure okay and what that is is this right here is inside of this material box okay and if you close it up, you can see it disappeared. So everything is inside that assembly. Uh, if I have a uh, drainage crew with three guys and a piece of equipment, the drainage guys go in the crew assembly and equipment goes in the equipment assembly. And you'll, you'll see why this is important as we develop. Because if I want to add, let's say, something to that I can just drag it into that assembly if it's a material I'm going to drag it into the material assembly and it's important we keep this structure okay where it's part part and then everything in the material or assemblies and then the assemblies are located underneath that it's going to be confusing to you now I shouldn't even spent the time that I spent on it but I did anyway so you have all these takeoff properties you've got erosion control takeoff properties um, and each one of these is tied to <clears throat> a crew production rate. And that crew production rate is based on how many people are in that crew. So if you can do silt fence <clears throat> at 50 feet an hour with two guys, you put in 50 feet an hour. And if you have 300 feet, it's going to give you six hours for that crew or a total of 12 hours. So that's kind of fun. Uh, we have a subcontractor, so if you have an area, let's say you're going to sub out your artificial turf or your hydro seed, you could use that. If you're subbing out electrical, uh, he gives you a lump sum bid, you can put it there. If you're subbing out AC paving by the ton, um, we have, well, you saw drainage, we have landscape. we got all these trees that you can use, all the shrubs. Um, we even have ground cover. Uh, with an on-center spacing so you can do an area takeoff and then it will calculate how many of those type of shrubs you need 
Okay, so I would suggest you kind of go through and get familiar with what we have here. And each one of these is already set up with uh, the materials, the compost, uh, the crew. Now, these crew could be totally different what you use, and that's going to be something you're going to have to build later. But for now, just use what I put in there, and if you don't mind, use the production rates. Um, that's eight cubic yards an hour for those three guys, uh, and it's four cubic yards per thousand square feet, or MSF. Um, irrigation is uh, well covered. We have uh, all kinds of different types of mainline reclaimed water, uh, mainline and sleeve. Uh, we have a lot of different lateral pipe, lateral pipe and sleeve buried. Uh, we even have it on grade. Um, if you're doing a, um, let's do a backflow, okay? Uh, we have assemblies with all the parts and pieces in there. Uh, that way, if you count five of these uh, backflows or one or whatever, it's going to calculate how many brass nipples you have based on, oh, I don't know, how many per count. So if there's two 24-inch uh, brass nipples in there, you put two. So anyway, so this is your takeoff properties, okay? And you're going to use those. Everything that you see in templates is also going to appear in your drop-down on the right. So if you're on the home page and your templates is on the right, sometimes you can switch it around. We can show you that later. Um, you have all these guys. If you want to do irrigation takeoff, you would just hover over irrigation, select it, and now you can start doing your irrigation. Uh, if you have main line that's reclaimed, you can use that, so on down the line. Okay, so those are your takeoff properties. We're going to get into bid organization, things like that later. But let's look at uh, reports. So we have some proposal reports. Uh, if we had done a takeoff, it would show up on this. Uh, so you have uh, proposal reports. You've got some reporting for uh, if you want to do a review on your job or send it out. Uh, material uh, reports by takeoff item. Materials reports if you want to request a material quote for irrigation or a request for material quote for landscape plants. Anything like that you can. Uh, irrigation quotes, uh, labor reports, what's your production rate, how many guys are in the crew, how many man hours you have for the whole job, or by the takeoff property, or by the folder, or by what division, whatever you want, you can break it out. And these are things you're going to learn as you go. I would not be too concerned or, or overwhelmed by trying to learn it all now, uh, but these are things that you're going to cover in future videos. I think we're going to have about 20, 25 training videos. And again, if you need more training, uh, I have my website posted on the, the back side of all these videos. If you want to go there and schedule some training, I'd be happy to help you out. All right, so those are our reports and those are our templates. And these are things that you received when you uh, loaded the plugin and have your database tables ready to go. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.